Hello, everybody. Yeah. Starting off with some old school music. Rock it through with this old school. Let me know if it's too loud. Hello, hello. I'm gonna put my hair up in a minute because I'm hella hot. So while we're waiting for everybody to come in, I'm gonna put my hair up. And I've already been drinking, so yes. Hey girl. Let me know what everybody is drinking. I forgot my favorite drink at home, so I had to get some Moscato. So I have some Moscato in here, but I like the red Moscato. So I was like, dang, I can't believe I left it. So it's hot. So yeah. But. It has me a little mellow, a little mellow. My hair might be a little, a little wild, but at least it's out of the face so that we can get this makeup rolling. I'm gonna give people a few minutes to like get in. If you guys wanna share, like I said, what you guys are drinking and what you guys are doing. Um, hopefully you're following along. And let me know if the music is too loud, but it's gonna be loud at first because it's getting the groove. I thought some old school would be appropriate. I was thinking about Doja Cat because I really like her new album, but then I was like, you know what? I love that Aaliyah's now on this Spotify. So I have a little bit of black uh, mascara on my eye. So yes, I'm gonna keep on drinking while some people come on in. And then we're gonna get um, this rolling. I don't know how to put this like down. But. Yes, so I'm gonna bring it on down. Dang, 2003. I was so I was like in middle school singing this song, thinking that I was hot, like and saying the cuss words. I was saying the cuss words. This tastes like juice, so that's why I'm like drinking it. But I also do have my water. Hello, Annabella. Yes, there's gonna be some old school music playing in the background. Get everybody singing. Have everybody have their makeup out or pen and pencil. That's always a good one. Uh, but I'm sweating. I'm gonna try to like cool down. I'm currently in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, Sarah B. If you haven't tried it, try it out. It saved my skin. <laughs> Congratulations on your new job. So exciting. So I'm gonna actually start off, grab whatever you have. I'm not really gonna show the products, but I am gonna show Makeup Toolbox products for the first time on here. So I'm super excited, um, but I'm not really gonna show certain, like certain colors. I'm just gonna tell you guys the colors and you guys can go from there. But the first thing that I normally do and everybody should do is prep your skin. Hello, hello. So you wanna prep your skin. I'm just using a serum cause I like it. Um, use a serum, use a moisturizer, whatever you want, but you want to make sure you prep your skin before. And prep, moisturize is the same word for prep. Um, so moisturize your skin so that it is nice and moisturized and is ready for makeup. 
Um, you can use moisturizer if you don't have like a primer. You can use those together if you want to. Um, but you always want to moisturize your skin. Mine is a little oily. I burped, excuse me. <laughs> um, yes, when you drink a little wine, a little Moscato, a little, you know, sometimes that happens to you. <laughs> so next what i like to do is i like to go i like let that dry and go in with my primer so if you want an uh kind of an airbrush look i think everybody wants an airbrush look nowadays going in with a primer that's kind of that's thick um has more i'm spreading it out so you can see it more of an emollient that will cover up any pores. I like using this sometimes on me, but I know like my clients like using it. They say their makeup lasts a little bit longer than normal. Um, primer is really just any target area that you want to conceal. So you want to, you know, if I wanted to cover up my redness, I'm going to use green as my primer. Um, primer can combat oil. But that's not a problem for me. Um, hello, hello, welcome. Join in, relax. It's been a long day. Um, so I just did it like in my T zone. I'm gonna take this makeup off right when I'm done. So the longevity, if you are someone that's oily, then you're gonna do something that's more gonna combat the oil. If you're somebody that's more dry, you're gonna do more hydrating. Um, if you want, if you have any um, pores, you're gonna use the primer. So I'm just, I just moisturized my face. I just primed the primer that I like to use. It's more of, this is what it looks like. Um, it kind of fills in any pore, so like a pore filling primer. That's basically, ooh, gassy. Listen, when I got into Spotify and this playlist, I was like, you know what, this, this is the playlist for tonight. I need some old school, new school music kind of, I'm like here or there. Like I said, I was in, in between Doja Cat because I like her new album and then I was like, you know what? I want to listen to something chill. A little chill, a little upbeat, because I, you know. All right, so normally I start off with my face. Whatever you want to do, there is no rule to doing your eyes first, doing your face first. The only reason why people would do their eyes first if they're doing like a heavier eye so that the eyeshadow doesn't fall down. Um, but you could do either or. Um, it is easier for you to clean up if you do your eyes first, but I'm gonna do my face first. Uh, and right now, I'm a little tan. Um, so I'm mixing two colors, and normally, that's what I would do. Um, I know some people have like their winter shade. I would definitely get something where you can mix in a darker shade with that other with your win with your winter shade to so that you're not wasting product um the moisturizer that i use i'm not really saying what moisturizer that i'm using everybody's different um so your skin tone or your skin type tell me what your skin type is and that way i can help you on um, what moisturizer you would need because everybody's a little bit different. I just went in with a serum. Somebody need, somebody else might need something um, more. And I just went in with like a little bit of foundation, nothing really crazy. And you always wanna do in the middle of your face because out here, you know, people will see that, but they're not really, you know, look it and then once you you know spread it out it spreads out pretty evenly so the majority of your foundation should go in the middle of your face so like i said if you're more dry you want more of a oil base gel base uh moisturizer and then if you are more of a dry or more of an oily 
that you want more of like a serum or more of something that's oil control moisturizer that's gonna help combat that oil yes so let me know if the music is too loud too like I said before so I have a couple questions so I'm gonna just wait until a couple more people get on if they're gonna jump on if you have any questions let me know while I'm doing this usually I have like my base on because usually you know you, there's no rhyme or reason like how to put up you could put your base on with a foundation brush um, you can put it on with a beauty sponge. It really just depends on what you feel like and what you like. So, hey girl, hey. Um, but right now, this is what I had. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put my foundation with a brush or with a sponge right now. And I'm just taking a little bit more of that foundation because I'm only trying to use like a little bit at a time. Like I said, I'm basically gonna take pictures and this, this thing is about to be gone. So, yes. So something that like comes to mind and I was thinking about it cause I had seen it on the internet. It's been floating around. Basically was this guy I don't, um, talking about was it fair like is it 50 50 in relationships or as far as like financial or you know if the man pays all the bills like upfront bills you know what does a woman bring to the table so i was like you know what i'm gonna ask my people that are gonna join me because i think it's a juicy topic i think i think to me, both sides are correct. I feel like women bring a lot to the table, um, being mothers, being caregivers. Um, I can see his point. You cannot just only do that. You need to bring in some financial stability in there too, or have your own and not just count on a man. Um, I can't, I gotta do my own thing. So I'm gonna move on to uh, concealer right now like I said I'm in the studio so I'm basically using the studio because I forgot my stuff so I'm like you know what let me use the stuff that I have in the studio so with concealer you guys some of you guys already know I like to go with like a warmer shade and then go in with a bright shade but I'm just gonna com like combine those together and just go in with a medium and kind of let the highlight and the correcting do both. Um, so whatever concealer you guys have, that's great too. Use it. Now I'm just use, trying to find a spatula so I can get this thing out of here. Cause I can't, can't believe I don't have my spatula tool. But yeah, I just thought it was really interesting on what he said and what do you think? Like, do you feel like, you know, what do you bring? To, what What do you bring to the table um, in relationships? I feel like I bring a lot. Like, I have my own. I run my own business. Um, I take care of my daughter. I do grocery shopping. I do, you know what I mean? But that's what that's what the woman on there said. Like, she's like, you know, we bring in more like we make a house a home and he was just like no like what else do you do like but nobody's gonna besides like sex I think that was like the issue that I had was at the end of that like at the end of his statement saying like what do you bring to the table other than sex um women bring a lot to the table other than sex I, I believe that too. Let, let's build the table together because not all men have it all together or not all men can pay for the full house. Let's do it together. Let's build it together. I'm all for that. Yeah. And I get, she was saying that too. Like, let's do things together. And mm, I was, he was, he was just not having it. <laughs> so I am actually going to dig out some of this 
product with my brush and then put it away. And I'm actually using the Makeup Toolbox brush and then this is in the um, S2F. Uh, so these have a meaning on the brush. Um, the S2F means step two face. So step one would be your foundation if you used your foundation brush first instead of like your beauty blender. Um, and then step two would be your concealer. Um, but yeah, I was like, you know what? Yeah, people need to know instead of just random numbers on these damn brushes, what the brush actually can can do. Now I'm just looking for a mirror because I got to get close. This one's, ooh. And I am really liking the trend of just like doing it, doing the concealer right in the area that you need it, which to me, it's this area. Like a lot of people think you need to bring it up and you can and the brush will do it, but the majority of the product should be right in this area so we can brighten it. I'm reading your comment, Brave. Bring into the relationship, then balance it off with that. No, I agree. I agree. And you know, a lot of people like gave him crap. And then, you know me, I was like, let me go. I, I need to know who this guy is. You know, what does he do? Like, what are you bringing to the table? What do you do? Um, so he basically was on his um, Instagram and he was like, so I kind of take it around this area too because it brings, when you center this, you're centering it forward. So that's like the highlighted parts and then you're gonna bring everything up. Um, but yeah, when he was saying that, I went on his Instagram and when I went on his Instagram, he was talking about how um, it's, it's little girls, like little girls that need to know what grown women do. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense because people have to learn in their own way. I just love this brush. Like, had, I, I had to stop because you ever get like a product? I got it. I got a better one. You ever get your nails done and there's just that one nail that you're just like, that's my favorite nail. That's what, like this one random nail is my favorite nail. When I got these brushes and when the whole collection came to me, I said, you know what? This is my favorite brush. This is like literally my favorite brush. So one of my best friends, she actually has the brush, uh, the brush it to like try it out because I wanted some feedback. And she was like, these brushes are so soft. And she was, she talked about this brush. She's like, that's my favorite brush. I was like, exactly. Like, if you wanted to just spot correct, you know, it's so, they're so soft. They're so blendable. I just, I, I really love this brush. And so like, I'm pressing in. And then, yeah. So back to the story with the guy. So yeah, that, and so, um, I was just really interested in that. Like, you know, in my, you know, in my household, it, you know, it is 50-50 and, you know, I think there is a balance. Um, and then, but I also do think like if your man, if your man wants to take care of you and that's what he wants to do, then okay. To me, I feel like if I was making more money than my significant other, then I'd be like, you know what? Let me take like the bulk of the bills because I make more money than you and then you could take, but sometimes it, it just equals out because I can go, I can go to Target and buy stuff for my home, buy stuff and the uh, pictures, the quilts, uh, towels that you need, replacing pillows, that all adds up so you're paying just one major bill a month and then what i'm spending is basically the equivalent because i'm going out and i'm spending more but i think where people have the issue with him is just how he said just that last statement after that like just you know giving ass basically like but yeah that was just really interesting to me that i stumbled upon that and i was like i wonder what i wonder what other people have to say about this but i feel like he has a lot to do with growing up as well like he needs to grow up some um 
Okay, so when I'm done with this part, now I get it. Cause like now I'm using the products that I use on like my clients and I'm like, you know what? A good brush really goes a long way, you know? And sometimes a brush will pack on the uh, product better than the beauty blender. The beauty blender sometimes like takes away the products rest, rather than the brush be on there. Like, like pack on the product, if I'm saying that correctly. You saw what I was doing. So, it's fine. Welcome. So what's everybody drinking if everybody's drinking or am I the only one that's drinking? <laughs> Uh, what else was interesting? Oh, so talking about brushes and talking about businesses. So a lot of people have asked, you know, where's the brushes? I'm so excited. Where's, you know, your product? So I wanted to go through just a little bit of, you know, what happens between when people, you know, are starting a business and then something goes wrong. <laughs> So I'm gonna start on my eyes. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that concealer and just blot out my eye. Um, actually, I'm not starting on my eye. I'm so sorry. I'm starting to contour because we gotta finish the face. I got ahead of myself. So basically, I got so i got the products i got the brushes everything was great i got the, the tool doesn't it look so pretty so these came out really nice labeling came out really nice the the, the flexibility in them really really nice all this came out perfect so i was like yeah that's great um once i got the brushes um and sent them back to labeling things just went left with the labeling Basically, I just knew I didn't want to put too much on the brush. Um, so the brushes with the labeling was just real simple. Um, but the person that had the labeling actually put the la like my logo on the brush. So from there, I got excited. You know, you get excited. I didn't think that was possible. Let's put it on the brush. Um, and long behold it looked perfect on a bigger brush as we see here um, but as we got down to the smaller brushes it didn't so this i i would love for everyone to have the brushes and to have the kit and i know i've gotten some feedback like the brushes are great just launch them but it's still not perfect not to say that the whole kit is perfect because it's it's not like, oh my God, this is exactly what I envision. It's close, but it's not what I envision. Um, but it's something where if, if you as a consumer has a brush and you look down and it's just that one blemish like on the blood brush, does that deter you from like, like if you buy a product and not saying from a major retailer because I'm not, but if you get something and you're just like, dang, this brush really does work, but there's a scratch on it. The labeling is messed up. How do you feel? Like, what, would you be like, you know what? I gotta return this, I don't like it. Or would you say, hey Shay, you know what? We love your product. Uh, do it as a discount. Give these brushes as a discount. So what's your recommendation? Because I mean, they're here, the product is here, it's ready to go. It's just, that's one error. So now I had to, by a larger batch of brushes that company actually did the labeling um and now i have to wait for them so do we wait to launch or do we launch with somewhat like and i mean they're not messed up they're just the labeling doesn't look clear that's the only thing um but everything else is perfect but I wanted it to be like really perfect. As a first impression, you want it to be perfect, but I thought today, you know what, as I do makeup, you know, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about the ups and downs of running a business, having a business, having product. Now, this is my first time having product. I've had my business, Bogey Beauty, for 
seven, seven years. And doing a service for someone is different than having a product for someone. So that's my dilemma. But I, I, I want to launch it. I want it to go. I just now I have to wait. And my gut is telling me wait, wait until the labeling is perfect, and then put it out there because you know your product and you want it to be somewhat perfect, a little, at least a little bit perfect for people, especially when someone's you know spending money and especially like with me if i spend money on something i just want the quality and labeling and it's on the brush like that's the quality for me like packaging that's here there because you throw that stuff out but the actual product you want it to be perfect so next what i'm gonna do is go in with the contouring tool which is really cool because on like i said on the label it has the S1C. Uh, so there's two brushes that come with contouring, which is this one. You can see a little bit clearer because it's like bigger. Um, and it says S2 or yeah, S2C. And this one says S1C. So this one you'll start first, which is your contour brush. That's what the C stands for. And then this one, which is your blush brush, but you can use it for blush or you can use it for. Um, the highlight like powder highlight underneath your eye so that's why i named it c2 because these two are like your contouring step one step two so i'm going to go in with some cream contour and we're going to take our tool you kind of just hook it in the back and it guides you where it needs to go and then that's it so that's that and then from here, of course, you can't see the labeling. Because I only wanted it on one side. I thought that it would be a little bit too much. And then take that on that side. And then you can always take this, you know, on here too to guide you so that you don't go like too far down. But I kind of like to go down because that's a little, there's a little shading in that area. So yeah, let me know what you would do. Like, if this was your business, what would you do? Like, would you say, you know what, let me just wait in? You know, I do, you know, the brushes are coming. Um, but I just know how cool this is that there's a whole kit that can actually help you. Because I know sometimes with doing makeup it's the guiding part and so i go up from here with the um contour i never go down or i never go around i know a lot of people go around you want to go up because you want this part to be sharper i would okay that's my gut that's my gut feeling Yeah, my friend was just like, these brushes are amazing, just do it. <laughs> um, so then on this side, you know, this kind of fits right in this area for your nose, which is great. But I use this thing for like everything. Like I use this thing when I airbrush my clients. Cause of course me, I know how to contour my face, but it's, it's a good training book for people. Um, so that you have like a nice little, you know, guide there. That was a lot. Um, but this product is pretty easy to blend out. Like, look, at, like that's like, and then basically I would go with the beauty blender and yep. So that, that, that was basically, so the reason why for the weight was, you know, when I got them back, I got so discouraged. I got very down on myself um, because, you know, it wasn't the person's fault. It was communication and it was getting excited. And I was like, oh my God, it can, like, I didn't want the labeling or my logo to be on the brush because it was like double logo basically because the MMTB that's on the brush stands for makeup toolbox. So I was like, you know what? I don't want double labeling. Um, 
but when I saw it, I got so excited and I was like, she made it better. Um, but yeah, then it just became like, no, it's not better. <laughs> so yeah, I just basically stopped for a minute and then, you know, products cost a lot of money. Um, so I had to wait and you know, you have to get basically equity back into your business. Um, and I waited. So a little bit of that kind of rubbed off. So I'm just going back in with the concealer. Um, so yeah, just that's what I'm going to do. And I just wanted to hear from you guys what you, you know, would do. Um, and so I, like I said, I am going to wait. The launch is soon because the, the products are already on their way. They just take a minute to get here. Um, and they're already, they're basically in production. So they're doing the half of the other production. Cause of course, you know, sometimes you can't pay all up front. You gotta pay in installments, things like that happen. Um, but I think the more and more people know what it is to have a product line and the ups and downs, thank you. The ups and downs of building a brand, it just, you know, the vision is just for people to have the tool so that you're not just looking at me right now doing makeup. The vision is for, wow, I can do this on my own. I can, I actually have tools that actually help me and my makeup actually looks better. So that's the whole purpose of that. And it was just, it was cool. Cause you know, when I first started, you know, doing uh, makeup mornings, I'm like, dang, how can they see me and then do it themselves? And then it popped in my head, like, wow. Like there, there's tools out there that can actually help do that. And, you know, I know some people get frustrated with like eyeshadow. Some people get frustrated with contour. They're like, my contour is down here or my contour looks muddy or I don't even know how to contour. That's the whole point of having tools to do it. And we have so much makeup that we need tools to help use the makeup that we have. Um, so now I'm going in with the C2, the S2 C brush. Um, and just using some of that powder to come under here. And this fits so good underneath the eye. I have my brushes at home. I like, I adore them. I love, I've washed them like 150 times. I'm not even joking. Cause I use them, I use them on my clients too. So I've, I've washed them a lot. And um, it's funny because my fiance will always say like, okay, what if a brush, a bristle comes out of the, the brush? <laughs> like, and someone's like, I want a refund. And I'm like, that shouldn't happen. Like, that's the whole point. He's like, well, how many, how many washes does it take for that to happen? I'm like, uh, a lot. And you should basically have your brushes for years and what I, we want you to do is wash them. You should be washing them. That's what makes them last longer is washing them. So yeah, that was just really, it was, it was funny. He's a funny man. Um, so yeah, I'm going in with a different brush, but the same concept as the makeup. So this angle, the angle really helps because that angle will help you come here and just drag it down, especially with the tool. Um, but once you use cream, you wanna use powder cause you wanna use powder to, um, oh, I didn't know what I was doing, sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm always like swiping up and then pressing as well and then the forehead i take a powder because i don't like it to look so strong um yeah i love that Aaliyah's music is now on spotify this whole time i was like i've always listened to Aaliyah on spotify they're like no not all her music i'm like oh okay <laughs> i didn't know that i didn't know the the they were holding on to music had no idea 
Um, sorry, I think my phone, I plugged it up and then it went down. Anywho, so let's get on to the interesting part, which is the eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows like after eyeshadow because I'm just getting excited to do my eyeshadow apparently. Um, what's another thing that happened today that was, not today, I wanted to talk about. So we, me and my friend, we went to a restaurant yesterday. If you are in Charlotte, it's called Mizu. Mizu, it's on top of the Hilton, Hilton, I think. It is, it is amazing. When, listen, this place, when I thought about customer service, like customer service for my clients, I was like, wow. The customer service was impeccable. And I'm not a one to be like, oh, let me, you know, something for free is the customer service. I can care less about that. Um, but the fact that we ordered dessert at the end and we just wanted one to share and they brought out another one. They brought out another one just because that was like, wow that's customer service to me like you know what you really love this product or you really love this well i'm gonna you know and you just want one to share but you know what i'm gonna give you another one just out in the house i'm gonna give you another one and i love to be greeted i love to greet my clients hey chanel i love to greet my clients with just an experience so when i walked in i was waiting for my friend and the girl was came in with this tray of grapefruit and uh, lemon and cucumbers. And she was like, do you want something in your water? And I was like, wow, this is nice. <laughs> like, I love to be greeted like this all the time. It was nice. It was a really nice restaurant. If you are in Charlotte, I definitely would check it out because it's amazing. So talking about the brushes, Let's do eyeshadow. So eyeshadow, let's say you did your face first. So in the kit, you will get some of these. They are cut a little bit different than normal ones. Um, I wanted them to be more of a straight edge, but had an angle, because if you, you peel it off and it becomes a sticker. So if you wanted to put it all the way down here, it still gives you a straight edge right here. And then, this part, you can flip it around and actually stick it on your eye and actually do eyeshadow as well. But for this purpose, because we've already done our face and some people do their face before they do their makeup, um, this part will go underneath that little thing and then you'll have a little guide right here. Usually I do not do this little long thing. I cut mine because, hello, that's a lot, like you don't need that right there. So I will cut it like right here or just in half. And then you can use this on the other side if you wanted to, but that'll give you that straight little edge there. And then that'll cuff underneath your eye and hold on. Oh, so it's pretty easy to take off. It didn't hurt. I'm just being dramatic as always. Um. All right, let's try this. All right, because what I wanted to do is I wanted to give it more room so I could do like my lower lash and that. So everybody, we are doing the soft glam look. That's what everybody chose. So that's what we're doing. And we gotta, I gotta hurry up. I've been talking a lot. So this blending brush is gonna be S1B, which is step one B. Um, and so you want three different brown shades. You want a light brown shade, you want a medium brown shade, and you want a dark brown shade. It doesn't matter, whatever palette you have. And you're going to take the, the, the number one, the light brown shade, you're gonna take that first. And you're going to do windshield wipers back and forth. Good thing that this is here, cause you could be as sloppy as you want. Um, and then if you wanted to take this and then put it on your eyelid, you can. That'll be great for people that have like hooded eyes. Amazing for people that have hooded eyes. 
So you're gonna take this, and this is gonna go back in and forth. And I basically blend this out, you know, until it is basically seamless. I'm gonna leave this one here, but I'm gonna do this one like how I would normally do it if this guide wasn't here. Um, so, and that's how I would train myself, honestly. When you get the toolbox, I would train myself with these on one eye and see how you can replicate it on the other eye um, because that'll help you. Um, Perfect. And then, you know, if you get fancy, you want to do some crazy eye look, then always having these are always great because then you can get crazy with some eye looks and then you don't have fallout. So then we have uh, S2B. This is a little bit smaller, tapered. And then that'll be a more of a darker, the darker brown uh, shadow. I have, and that fits literally like right in your crease. Hey girl, hey. So this one, honestly, you can't even mess up like getting into your crease. And the more you transition, also, I know some people have, um, they're like, oh, you don't put the shimmer on before you do the crease one? No, I wouldn't personally, unless it's just an all shimmer look. If you guys have any questions, please let me know so I can answer. But um, that is one thing that my clients always say, oh my God, I was doing that wrong. Like I was putting the shimmer on and then seeing that it blended into everything else. That will definitely happen um, if you put that shimmer on first instead of doing the matte colors, then yeah. Um, there is a rhyme or reason to why the numbers are where they are as well because that's where you should be holding your brush. Not back here, not over here. So you'll always know that placement of where to hold your brush when you're blending um, because the number is right there. All right, so from here, from like this part, so you don't do the dark, dark one yet. From here, that's when I would grab that shimmer. Um, I know some people have like creams. I saw this one that was like laying in my vanity and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use it. Um, and this is a cream color. This is an always a great alternative. If you are in a rush, you are ready to go you take that you blend it out like with your finger and it gives such a great uh payoff you don't even really have to do anything cream eyeshadows are like bomb but i'm extra and i like to layer because that's what i do so i'm gonna take this color right here it matches a little bit of that with that girl hat on You're just gonna put it right on your lid. And then this one, of course, is S1I because this one's for your eyeshadow and it's not for your blending. I don't know where S, uh, S3B is, but yeah. I know some of you are probably like, what is she talking about? I'm talking about the numbers on the brushes. That's what I'm talking about. I know that could be a little confusing. So from here, she had an eyeliner look. So let's do the eyeliner look. And guess what? We got this, so we can't mess it up. So, I mean, I could, cause I this one kind of fell a little bit. So you can readjust it and it'll stick right. So you want this little line to come under here. And what you could do, you can either have this, and I'll show you with this as well, like how to line that up. And you can use this as a guideline too, if you want to, um, but we have this. So usually, honestly, you can just come. Yeah, I definitely have my makeup on that I had yesterday. Huh? That's funny. And I did double cleanse.
So I'm not really taking, I'm gonna take it all the way across like my eyelid, but I'm not gonna make it like thick. It's gonna just be thick on the outer edge. It's gonna be really thin. I just grabbed this uh, this pencil out of my drawer and I like it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So with this, I'm trying to see in the mirror what this is gonna look like. We want it to be even. So I have this one kind of down a little bit. So I'm gonna press it up against my skin and take it and when you take it out you're good oh sorry i was in in the frame i love jenna jackson so yeah eyeliner i have to concentrate just like everybody else like i can't I don't know, I can't multitask and do eyeliner at the same time. I get why like some people, they're like, oh, I'll be back, I'm about to do eyeliner. It takes, it takes concentration, but that was like really fast, really easy with the brush, with, with the contouring tool. So that's why I love that thing. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find. So now you would take the darker color, which now I need that other brush that I do not have and I don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna take a different brush. You need a, oh, here it is. <laughs> you need a smaller brush um, for that dark, dark color because you want it to be right at that edge of that um, eyeliner. So you want it to be right here. You kind of want to like graze it and then you, like once you pat the color down, you can bring it in a little bit. It'll give a little bit more definition. So the same thing without, I'm gonna pat it down and then, and yeah. So another thing that I see, let's just talk about them was that apparently uh, Kanye and Kim are not getting divorced. They went to like Malibu or something like that. Who would have thought that they're not? Um, yeah, that was not, they're not getting a divorce. Like that was because they're becoming irrelevant at this point and they needed some buzz. <sighs> so annoying. Um, so, and then I was laughing at myself today because I was like, God, where do we come from? Like, why do we care so much about these people? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna take kind of like a medium brown color and I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line. The good thing about this beautiful tool is you could be right in this area. Hey Liv, how are you? You could be in this little area right here. This is like a perfect example too. I'm glad that Liv like hopped on. Liv was always telling me, Shay, no, you gotta teach me. Like you can't, you can't, you can't do it for me. You can't do the makeup for me. You have to teach me the makeup. Like, cause then I'll know how to do makeup. This is the whole purpose of this toolbox. Cause my clients be like, oh, I wanna take you home with me or can you come crack a dawn and do my makeup? But then they're like, I wanna learn how to do makeup. Now you have all the tools in this beautiful box, delivered at your doorstep, ready for you to achieve all your makeup looks and all your makeup dreams. And yes, I would still like to be considered, you know, to come and do, <laughs> yup, teach a man how to fish. She will always say that, teach a man how to fish. Just teach a man how to, and so like that should be the slogan of Makeup Toolbox. Like teach a man how to fish. I'm teaching you guys how to fish. And that way you could, listen, you could just call me on special occasions, but you don't have to call me all the time, you know? So 
like I have one of my clients and she's like, I need a class. I need to just learn how to do this. So you see, like the reason for this brush and I love it so is because it's tapered. And so it's gonna be beautifully, like you can use this and that's great, but this is gonna be beautiful to just come down here and just be easy for you to apply. And if you really want it a little bit more color, like in this area, you just take that brush, like you just, so I'm gonna take this off. So it gives you the same look, but of course, because that one was like crooked and I didn't blend it. Good thing about this is that you could take that brush and blend it out. I think I, yeah, I took number two and blended it out. The more blend out underneath, the more smoky it's gonna look. I like that personally on my eyes because my eyes are big. So, but it looks great on everybody. Um, so lashes, let's talk about lashes. There is a tool that I want so bad for the lashes that I thought of that would be great. Um, but that's gonna probably be a little bit later in the, in the, in the year or maybe next year when that'll probably launch. But anywho, if you do this, it's really, it's really easy. So when you first get your lash, these little things, we gotta cut this, like nobody needs these like little excess little things on the side. So you always wanna cut the excess. Oh, hello, hello. And then you wanna measure. But when you look at the mirror, cause there's a mirror behind me, but when you look at the mirror and you go like this, some people like go like this and they're gonna hit their lashes. You wanna kinda come like this, but you don't wanna actually look directly at the mirror either. You wanna take your mirror, like a compact, and look down. And you wanna look down because that elongates your eye. So you wanna have it kinda underneath your chin and then just look down and that'll plop right there right where you needed to now that looks crazy because i have not measured i'm measuring now to see if this where i want it also if you want kind of like a sultry eye or you don't like that inner corner right here and you do do the wing like halfway cut your lashes um so what you want to do, you always want to cut the end of it. You don't want to cut the front of it. You want that front. So I'm going to just cut a little bit of that. And then I'm so scared to use this glue because the glue that I have for my clients, this stuff does not come off. Um, it does, but it, it's pretty hard not. Yes, looking down with a mirror, yes. Cause you're gonna hit your lashes and then don't apply mascara first. Leave your lashes bare. So when you put the glue on, let them sit. Let them chill for a minute. The glue has to get tacky. You go straight with your eyeball, that's gonna be crazy. Like you're, you're slipping and sliding. So I'm cutting, they just played Danny D. Kane. Who remembers Danny D. Kane? I love Danny, K Danny D. Kane. I'm just, Diddy pisses me off sometimes because I love Danny Kane. Like, can they go to another regular label? Can they make another album? And, oh, who was watching Encore? What channel does that even come on? I don't, I watch TV, but I'm more on like TikTok and YouTube, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I love Danny Kane so much. And I, I, I was watching, I was watching like little clips on TikToks with that Encore show. But I was like, I need to watch this. Um, but yeah, I heard Aubrey, Aubrey did, Aubrey was stirring up some drama and Kaylee was stirring up drama. I said, ooh, well. Oh, what? Better on one eye than the other. I'm reading your comments, by the way. <laughs> All right, so back down. So your chin is gonna face like forward and this is just gonna go down and then you're just gonna like look down with your eyes. This should be good. Yeah. And then just plop it on. 
and then we i have a tool but that will so you see this inner corner sometimes you can't grab this inner corner with your hand i slid this that tool will help plop it down that'll come in the box as well and then the tool you can like pinch it and yeah easy i know people are like that is not easy and then you know wiggling your lashes too to make sure that they're and then again down and plop them right in like it literally should just stay like as soon as you plop them down it should stay you're just now grabbing the end and grabbing the other end and i'll make sure to have the lash tool with me next time i like these lashes these are the lashes that i use on my clients um i might have them on the website um because they are very easy to apply and they look beautiful on your eyes um and i have really big eyes so if you have like hooded eyes they're gonna look they're gonna look like fake eyelashes like uh not fake well duh fake eyelashes but they're gonna look like extension this was really easy i'm trying to fix it but there's nothing wrong <laughs> i needed another i need some so that might take you can go back in with the brush and fix it and then go back in with some powder underneath so that I almost poked my eye out. All right, so next would be blush and eyebrows, doing these eyebrows. Right now, all I have is my eyebrow kit. I usually don't do my eyebrows like that but let's just go and do them i know some people love doing like carved out eyebrows it's not for me i don't like it um whatever flows ship out so the good thing about the tool is you know you can flip it on this side and there's a little angle that'll help with like any any of your you know if you have an arch um, the powder that I used was um, just a setting, just a setting powder from Anastasia, um, and then it can guide you. I'm looking very far away, um, but and very sloppily at that, so that'll guide that. Boom! I need a darker shade. Dang. And then I use it underneath too. Like I don't use, I don't go like this and then use it. I use where that little cusp is, and then that'll guide. And then the little thing will guide right here. And then you can perfect it however you need to perfect it. And then that way, you don't gotta use no concealer. You don't gotta cause you didn't. You didn't need it, it did it for you. So, there is that. Let's do the other side so that we look even. What else can we, what else can we talk about? How's everybody, how's there, if you had kids go to school today, how was that? My baby goes to school next week. I don't even know. I don't know with this COVID thing. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I don't know. I, I had mixed feelings about it. So, and you can press this as hard as you like want on that area. Cause honestly, you don't have no big up there. I have that little thing right there and it gets on my nerves. So yeah, it just guides you. It guides you where you need to go. One of these will be in the kit as well. Cause I was like, I was missing it. So that's gonna be there too. Cause who doesn't need eyebrow brushes? Everybody needs eyebrow brush. Hey 
girl, hey. So, blush, lip, and we done. I, we an hour in, but I was talking a lot. Um, I'm like, what else? What else? What juice? What else? Ju I need to find like some juicy stuff so we could talk about it every Wednesday. I don't know, but it's getting late. And I'm in my studio and. Liv, you are her lip. I miss you, Liv. I miss you. It was funny because Asia had just mentioned. She was like, oh, I haven't, we haven't seen Liv in a long time. Anywho, so yes. So for tiny eyes is what she says, or what we say hooded eyes, or just smaller almond shaped eyes. I think, let me tell you, I love working on almond shaped eyes like tight like the tiny hooded eyes like melissa has eyes like that i love those eyes i think they're so sexy like they're amazing eyes anywho everything that i did today like keeping it on the outer edge that's what you want to do you, you don't want to go like all the way into the eye or in, you know you want to keep it on the outer edge so a good thing and a little secret um i will discuss since we are talking about makeup toolbox in the makeup toolbox when you get the makeup toolbox you have a qr code with that qr code you'll scan it with your phone and it'll take you to different eye shapes so if you have hooded eye shapes you'll click on the girl and boom there's your there's your lesson that you'll learn how to do makeup you know with the same skin tone with the same eye shape with the same face shape that you'll have <laughs> yeah so you so yeah, when you have a little bit more chinky eye, you, you wanna keep everything on the outer edge, but that's the whole purpose of Makeup Toolbox is to have these tools to help people with hooded eyes, to help people with large eyes, to help people stay in line, to help people know what to do first, what to do last, what brushes to use. Um, yeah, the I think that honestly like, you know, there's a lot of makeup brushes. There's a lot of, you know, different tools, makeup things. But I think what sets us apart right now is the fact that we're gonna have that QR code that's gonna have makeup lessons for people. That's really what's gonna set us apart. Um, and that it's gonna be for everybody. So you're gonna have, you know, young girls, um, light skin, medium, dark, very dark, uh, mature skin, young skin, hooded eyes, big eyes, you know, that way everybody learns from what they look like, not just YouTube or not just me. You'll just be seeing my face when you just want to see my face and see what I like to use for that, for that uh, occasion. But yeah, um, I'm just going to throw on a, this random lip that I found. Nothing crazy. She has, a, she had a nude lip with that soft glam you can actually wear a red lip with this you can wear a colored lip i love lip colors like if i had to choose to have one product for the rest of my life it would be a lip color it would be lips like you can go anywhere with lips like a red lip like a bare face mascara and a red lip you you're onto something you're fashionable So, yes, so it took us a minute, but it shouldn't take you a minute once you, you know, get your kit. I'm very excited for the kit. I'm just excited for people to learn. Like, I just can't wait to see, like, oh my God, like, I couldn't do contour before, but now I, I know how to do contour. And then we can follow along. So, like, I would love to, like, when people have the kit, like, bring them on the live. And we can like, what, what are you, you know, what are you missing? What's difficult? And then it's kind of like a one-on-one -on -one lesson. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, a couple of my clients that I've done one-on-one -on -one lessons with them, they're like, this is amazing. But then now you can have me everywhere. So like you take your kit with you because it's travel friendly, pop up a video, do your face. Now you're ready to go out anywhere, anywhere. 
you don't have to hire a makeup artist, which I don't want to say that because we still want to get hired. We do. Um, but you know, you could do your you could do your face. Ooh, that's real sticky. Yep, so this is the look. You would just set it, set it and forget it. I think there's like a brand that has that set it and forget it. Girl, let me know. So when you do have a makeup lesson, like a one-on-one -on -one with Vogue Beauty or myself, like the team or myself, um, the, the box will be included in the lesson. That way we can show people, you know, it's like that training wheel, just so that we can show people how to use what's in the box. And then, you know, it's a one-on-one -on -one experience, but then also, you'll have those classes so when you need to refresh you just pull out your phone qr code boom you got a refresher right there you don't you don't need me to come back so it's like an added bonus for me to be with you um but you'll have this you'll have the box you'll have you know it you'll on the website you will see everything that comes with the box and comes with the instructions of makeup lessons. So you'll have one-on-ones, you'll have virtual one-on-ones, um, and then we'll have the makeup Wednesday, or the wind down Wednesday. And so if you know, you're just like, oh, I definitely wanna try that look, and I have my box, I'm good to go, let's go. I could do this. So yes. Now, I don't encourage, like, I don't know, I wouldn't do my own makeup on my wedding. That's something that I just would not do. I'm too, I'm too nervous. Um, I need to wipe, wipe my hand. I don't have nothing to wipe my hand. I'm like looking at the time, like when is it gonna cut me off? Does it, I haven't been down here for so long. Like, does it cut you off anymore? Cause yeah, I don't know. I was hot, but I'm gonna put my head, my, I just ruined my whole leggings. I just looked down, that's horrible, but yeah. This is the finished look. I honestly like, I like this side, but I kind of like this side a little bit better. <laughs> As I was saying, you like one brush, you like certain things a little bit better than others. I'm trying to find my makeup remover because I just literally got everything on my hand. Um, we're gonna use this. But yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you guys for joining. If you guys have any questions, please let me know before we go. I think I'm gonna put my hair back up because I don't like it up. Um, yeah, this was so much fun. I cannot wait to do it next, next Wednesday. I will actually be in DC, so you'll see a different background. <laughs> Uh, we'll be in the bath. We'll, we'll do something. Um, I actually have a photo shoot, so I think I want to recreate the look. So if you have a photo shoot, if you have family photos that you're going to take or whatever, then you can recreate a look um, that I'll do for the family photos. Um, yes, I can't wait to see you, Chanel. So yeah, I'm going to hop off of here, take a few little pics. And then I'm going to head home. Um, I hope you guys all have a great night. And thank you for joining. And I will see you guys on the, the next one, next Wednesday. So if you guys have any like recommendations, anything that you guys want to see, any makeup that you want to see, let me know. And we'll take another poll. And we'll do that look. All right. I will see you guys later. Have a good night. Uh, yeah. Bye, thank you, bye.